everyone, this is Aisha Sherzai. And I'm Dean Sherzai. And today we're going to talk about five myths related to Alzheimer's disease. Myth number one, Alzheimer's disease is a normal part of aging. Now that is simply not true. We have so many examples of individuals and populations that live well into their 80s, 90s and beyond without having any signs and symptoms of memory or cognitive diseases of aging. And from the research that has been done over decades, we know that instituting a healthy lifestyle earlier on can prevent Alzheimer's disease from occurring. Myth number two, you only have to worry about Alzheimer's when you're older. That's not the case. The disease might manifest for the first time in your 60s, 70s or later, but the disease process has started 20 to 30 years earlier. That's when, in your midlife, when you really need to address the risk factors of the disease. Myth number three, Alzheimer's disease is a genetic disease and therefore inevitable. Now it's true that all diseases have a genetic component, but for Alzheimer's disease, it determines a range of when the symptoms show themselves. And what you do throughout life will determine whether you get the disease earlier or later. Myth number four, Alzheimer's is caused by one factor, such as aluminum or mercury or dental fillings or flu virus or aspartame. No, none of those things. It's not caused by one factor. That kind of mentality comes to us from decades ago where people actually had to deal with simple uh, diseases such as infections. Today with chronic disease of aging, we deal with complex diseases that actually manifest as a result of multiple factors coming together later in life and manifesting in Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and other diseases. So that kind of mentality has to change and the treatments that are being instituted now and the research that's being actually conducted now actually comes to us from that kind of mentality. The more complex and the correct way to approach these chronic diseases, especially Alzheimer's, is to understand that it's a multifactorial and long-standing, lifelong disease. That's how we have to approach it. Myth number five, the brain is too complicated for us to affect it. Now, sure, the brain is probably one of the most complicated and complex organs in the body with 80 to 100 billion neurons and a quadrillion connections. But when you look at the cellular level and the metabolism, and when you look at the arteries that supply nutrition and oxygen to the brain cells, it's essentially the same, uh, same as any other organ in the body. As a matter of fact, the complexity of the brain actually makes it even more susceptible to what we do to it, to all the physiological insults that it is exposed to in life. And we believe that if we take care of our brain with the right nutrition and exercise and all the lifestyle measures, the rest of the body is actually going to benefit from it. Well, that's it for now. Please stay tuned for more videos on the subjects. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Please post any questions if you have. Visit our website, teamsharesi.com, to order a copy of our book. And you can actually pre-order it and get a nutrition packet with fantastic recipes that we've put together to understand what kind of nutrition and what kind of foods benefit the brain. Until next time, thank you so much. Thank you.